Hello and welcome back to the channel for another video. As you can see, we have a different uh, filming setup. I'm currently away, uh, but I am still hoping to upload every day. Uh, that's my commitment for the month, or I'm going to try and stick to uploading every day this month, whether it be on here or on the Marcy Show. <laughs> A few days ago now, Alex, the brother of Tate Sinclair, went on Reddit and made some posts that seemed to fill in some blanks, but it also raised more questions than it answered. I am hoping in this video to give you some more of those answers, as I have been in contact with Alex and he has sent me a few things that help provide a little context. One thing that I wanted to check was the events surrounding the Loving Black and White music video which Alex says the shoot for that music video was miserable. I'm in that one on bass. She got absolutely hammered on tequila for the shoot and we had to keep telling her she was a good singer. Tatane says that he keeps singing into the microphone like it's on. Alright, let's do this. Oh uh, yeah, a little bit. I'm talking into this like it's on. <laughs> Most artists also lip sync for their music videos. Maybe Mars actually sang. Also, did she get hammered on tequila? There's definitely evidence of her shotting alcohol during the shoot. Cheers to me. Wait, no. no that's a bad cheers. That's a bad cheers. <laughs> to me? Who cheers to No, like... No, <laughs> that's not what I meant. There's also footage of her during the shoot. <laughs> Just get when that happens, keep playing because I can't. I'm just kidding to my head. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I can't do it. Like, with jumper. Sorry. I love that. Alright. Jumping. With how we're doing. Are you guys good? I'm scared. Yeah. See you, senora. A little bit more about that later. Because as I was writing this, I found out a little bit more, and that's at the end of the video. But regardless of all that, I was talking to Alex, and he had some interesting things to share. There's a photo you may have seen around recently, which is this. According to Alex, it was a pre-show ritual. I said, what was the pre-show ritual? Looked like alcohol. He said, yeah, exactly. Get drunk before performing. I said, help the nerves. He wrote a second reply to my message about it looking like alcohol and also added, but then it would devolve afterwards, we'd play, and then poof. Either she's gone completely or we'd be stuck with dealing with the meltdown. His response to me asking about if it helped with nerves were, Oh, for sure, yeah. Watch the Lincoln Hall footage. That was one of the very, very, very first shows. And you can hear Rich, our drummer, encouraging her to drink something. So it helped for sure, but it got bad as the night went on. That's when it would turn into screaming matches, kicking Corey out, berating everyone. I can't find that exact moment in the video. It could very well be in the background. They do definitely talk about drinking before the show, though. That's for sure. I'm not going to show it because as far as I know, she doesn't want it online. And last time I actually uploaded a video surrounding Lincoln Hall, it was a little compilation of, like, behind the scenes stuff, I think it was like 5 minutes, and she took it down, and I don't want to miss that again. Hopefully that makes sense. He did also send a photo of her and said she was just a really shy person who was terrified of a normal life and wanted to be famous, so she did what she had to do to play the part. And then he sent an email from her from 2012, and it reads as follows. Hey, I heard Corey playing your new song this morning. I think it's really good. I just wanted to let you know that I'm truly sorry about how things ended with the whole project in Chicago. That period of my life was definitely not one of my finer moments, and I'm not proud of how I treated you or anybody else during that time. I know we are very different people, but I really do think you are a great person with a lot of talent and a big heart. I admire you in many ways. I hope you can forgive me for my less than tasteful behaviour. I appreciate that you were there for me, and I know that I was a huge jerk. Much love. Alex also contacted a former member of the Mars Arco band called Jordan, who was a guitarist in the band. Although he's not mentioned on the Mars Arco wiki, interestingly enough, here's his recollection of the love in black and white 
video shoot, and this is what I was referring to earlier in the video. Jordan in the grey and Alex in the blue. Alex said, man, I love recording in that studio, to which Jordan said, same. Alex said, what do you remember from the loving black and white shoot? He said, I'll text you in a bit, we are heading to see a movie. He said, no problem. He responds and says, never mind, we decided not to today, lol. I remember we barely made it there because there was something wrong with your car, lol. Matt, something, and Tony Kate were filming it. Uh, I'm guessing that is Matt Franklin and Tony Kate. We, we, we all know, or hopefully you know who Tony Kate is. I remember we were all having some drinks, but we had to cut Brittany off because she was so drunk, lol. It was really fun shooting the video, but after the video, I feel like it got a little weird because Brittany was wasted and we all sort of had to keep an eye on her. There was this other time that I remember a lot too. I think it was her birthday party or something and Paul Octavius, I think, was there. And the synth guy, maybe. But she was super drunk there too. And she came downstairs with her shirt off and just her bra on and started dancing with me, lol, and Corey had to bring her upstairs and put her shirt back on. That's about all we have for today's video, and if what Jordan said is true, then that confirms something Alex said in his Reddit posts. There'll be a link to Alex's Twitter in the description, but please be nice to him. He's just trying to offer a different perspective and fill in some of the blanks. Or at least from what I can tell, that's what he's uh, been doing is trying to answer people's questions and yeah. So I really thank him for sharing this information with me so that I could share it with you. There were, I think, a couple of other things that people were worried about, I believe, and I haven't read everything he said uh, recently, and there was a fair bit of information. In fact, I think my video was like 23 minutes long. It'll be linked in the description. But I think that there may have been a couple of inconsistencies that either I saw or that some people were questioning. I will try and, I'll try and find them, uh, those inconsistencies, and I'll try and get you some more answers if I can. Uh, hopefully you did enjoy the video. Sorry, I just want to interject for a second here. I have a feeling that this video could be seen as me just putting shit on Mars or whatever. That's not the case at all. If there was information about Titanic, I'd be making a video about that. If there was information about Poppy, I'd be making a video about that. This is more to try and piece things together for you and also for me and to try and get more of a complete story. I can see that drinking can be a coping mechanism for many things, whether it be anxiety or whatever. And yeah, it may have gotten out of hand. That's unfortunate. Anyway, back to the video. Maybe you learned something. I certainly learned i learn a bit um but it does make sense to me for mars to have um some drinks before her shows i know that uh, i know that an alcoholic beverage helps me helps me in social situations so i can relate on that level but of course everything's good in it's, it's well it's the same portions, it's not like um, everything's good in quantity or whatever. Um, but if you do overdo it, then it can become bad. Definitely had a drunken night or two myself, way more than that. She's not the first person to find comfort in alcohol, but yeah. Also, just to clarify, like, in case you misinterpreted what I said about my drinking, I don't get like that, I don't get anywhere near like that when I drink. I like to consider myself a nice drunk, but yeah, thanks for watching, if you did enjoy, leave a like, if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell you never want to miss an upload, and I will see you soon for more content, peace.